Welcome back to Watchful Studio on the banks of the Sumida River behind me. You might be able to see the Oshiagi Sky Tree. I'm Latch and I've got something a little bit different for you today. I've been playing board games all my life, but I realized recently that I'd changed the way I was playing them and that in all of those years, it's maybe only the third time I've done that. The first sort of gaming was how everybody gets started. I played chess with my dad and my relatives, Monopoly and similar family games, school friends, Whatever games we had in the neighborhood, we'd swap the games around. There was always plenty to choose from. But beyond that, there's not much thought about the games we play or the people we're playing with. And then, as I got into my mid-teens, we were discovering more complex and more complicated games. Maybe an elder brother or sister had bought the game, or we discovered it in someone's loft. Uh, Risk, belonging to my best friend's uh, elder brother, became a staple in the group because it's so flexible and it offers so many ways to play. You can handicap the game and house rule until the cows come home. And as we grew up, we found there were hex map games, a cardboard uh, chit and hex. These were usually fantasy games and we found them much more engaging than family games. But they also have a narrower appeal. So a shift has taken place here to a sort of second phase of gaming. In this new phase, I'm starting to choose the friends who also like games, and we're choosing more interesting games to play together. We've maybe earned a little extra money. Uh, we're buying a game that's interesting for us to play together. And that was really it for most of my board gaming life until about 15 years ago. And then there was a third phase that began. In about 2010, 11, the son of the old school friend, that same guy whose elder brother had risk, took me to Games Workshop. And there I discovered that things had moved on pretty dramatically since the war games we'd played when we were teenagers. Not only are those games amazing for anybody who likes fantasy and science fiction, as I definitely do, but you can play the game at any shop in the country. You just turn up with your gear and you can get a game with other people who want to play that same game. And that's pretty good for the price of a box of plastic dudesmen. And the world of trading card games work like this too. In my case it was Magic the Gathering and Cardfight Vanguard. And when I moved to Tokyo, I found the city was big enough to support organized tournaments for all of these different games on different nights of the week. Which is all well and good, but you're not choosing your opponents. You're choosing the game, and other people that like that game and are doing the same thing are going to play against you. So that's the third phase of my gaming. The primary motive is to play a particular game, a specific game, and I'm choosing a specific place where other people that want to play that game are also going to go. And that has been the characteristic of the last decade or so of my gaming. I was attending board games clubs and finding others to play the games there, and I was organizing regular competitive events for TCGs and miniatures games, and others were coming to take part. So as many friends as I made that way, and I did make some great friends along the way, this is really a game first, people second approach. I realized things had changed again in this last 18 months, and I was now in a fourth phase of my gaming. Now I go to those places set aside for gaming, notably the largest board gaming club in the city, and there's a wide range of games to choose from and a wide range of players to play them against, but I'm not going to play a particular sort of game anymore, as I did in the third phase, Magic the Gathering or Infinity the Tabletop game. I'm going to the club to meet people I like playing games with, and I'm playing a game that we collectively choose together. It's a people first, game second approach, but within the setting of the particular sort of place to play the games. It's like a refined combination of the second and third phases, and it's still distinct from both. So let me summarize. In phase one, I was playing with whatever games we had available. It's family games with the family and whoever else is around. And then in phase two, I'm starting to choose the games that I play, and I'm choosing the people that I play them with. And we're discovering games as we go along and we play them together. In phase three, I'm choosing to play a specific game and I'm going to a specific place where that game is played and I'm finding others who want to do likewise. And finally, I find myself in a sort of phase four, I'm going to a specific place, but I'm not playing a specific game anymore. I'm choosing to play anything the specific people choose, the people I like playing with. And it became apparent to me that at this point in my life, I've really become more interested in the people I'm playing the games with than the games themselves. So that's where my gaming has come to. Uh, I hope it's interesting, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, splendid backdrop behind me. And if it is, please join me again for more of this. Bye-bye.